So the Resident Evil 3 Remake trailer is finally here, giving us so much info for this upcoming title, showcasing all the important characters like Jill Valentine, Carlos Oliveras, the UBCS soldiers, and most importantly, Nemesis. So in this video, we're going to be breaking down what we've learned from this new trailer and see how this plays with the lore compared to the original Resident Evil 3. Anyways, before we do get started with the video, I just want to say my name is Hey Deva, and I do cover a lot of Resident Evil and other survival horror content on my channel. So if you guys enjoy these types of videos, then please feel free to like and subscribe for more content like this in the future, and also possibly adding me both on Instagram and on Twitter, where you guys can message me there personally at any time. Alright, so with the amazing new trailer being showcase on Sony's state of play, we got to see our very first glimpse of gameplay from RE3 Remake, which actually started off in an interesting perspective, showcasing the opening sequence from a first person point of view, which this aspect almost made me wonder if they'll switch back to this type of gameplay, similar to what we saw from Resident Evil 7, but later on in the trailer, we switched back to the over the shoulder aspect of gameplay like an RE2 Remake. Anyways, in this opening portion of the trailer, we got to see the point of view of Jill Valentine, who is one of the few survivors from the original Resident Evil 1 where she seems to be running from a monster while being in distress due to the building around her being under fire. Which I mean, I wonder who this monster could be. Anyway, so far, the overall setting for the opening of this trailer is happening in Jill's apartment complex, with a great comparison can be made with the original Resident Evil 3. <laughs> But with the setting out of the way, let's quickly run back and cover the elephant in the room. And when I mean by elephant, I mean Nemesis. With the quick glimpses that we get from this tyrant, we can already tell that Nemesis was modeled based off Mr. X from Resident Evil 2 Remake. With his overall body structure and costume silhouette very reminiscent of the T-103 model, with the comparisons shown here. But continuing on with this trailer, we see Nemesis is a lot more relentless and is able to go through environments, making sure that we'll never feel safe at any point during our journey. Because just imagine the aspect that we saw from Mr. X in both the classic Resident Evil 2 and RE2 remake, where he bursts through walls, but at least he just power walks towards our characters. <laughs> But in Nemesis' case, we've seen him follow us throughout the many different environments, going from one segment of the area to the next, while also being much faster than Jill, where also in the classic Resident Evil 3, he's able to show off the same aspects as Mr. X when going through environments, but the sheer relentlessness could be overwhelming when dealing with him. So with the new Resident Evil 3 remake trailer, it already indicates that Nemesis can follow us from one place to another, even bursting through the ceiling in his pursuit of Jill. Also real quick, if we listen closely enough, we can actually hear him say stars. Which I hope we can see more footage of him saying that when in full rage. Anyways, the trailer continues on with the many scenes that depicts the ruins of Raccoon City, with Jill questioning on how the T-Virus infection has spread so quickly. With the sheer amount of chaos, and the people running away from all the zombies truly depicts an apocalyptic sense. Anyways, the trailer continues on where we finally get to see some of our favorite characters from the classic RE3, with one in particular was with Brad Vickers, and how we finally get to see him live in person in today's gaming environment. Man. But right now it's got a hard on for the only two stars left in town. Because remember that in Resident Evil 2 Remake, the only depiction of him in the game was on a poster for the RPD's recruitment for new officers, which was a complete difference compared to the classic Resident Evil 2 and how we saw him as a zombie that would appear on the lower level of the entrance of the RPD station. So in this trailer, it seems as though Brad will play a much larger role compared to what we saw from the classic RE3, being more involved with the chaos that's ensuing in Raccoon City, explaining to Jill that Nemesis is following their track. Also, it was nice to point out that he specifically mentioned that there were only two stars members in Raccoon City, indicating that Chris Redfield, Barry Burton, and Rebecca Chambers has already set their ways to take down the Umbrella Corporation, heading already to Europe to battle the corporation at one of their headquarters, where we can compare this scene from the original Resident Evil 3 and how Brad was explaining that Nemesis was hunting down stars members. Listen, he's coming for us. We're both gonna die! What are you saying? You'll see. He's after Star's members. There's no escape! 
Anyways, besides that, we get some glimpses of the Umbrella Biohazard Countermeasure Service members, which included Carlos, Nikolai, and Mikhail, with each scene supporting their previous roles on how they'll perform in the game, with Nikolai still being cold-hearted and only caring about the mission to Mikhail, and how we see him in the very tram that he'll eventually have that one-on-one -on -one battle against Nemesis. and to Carlos, and how he was on the field looking for any civilians to save, giving a much more serious tone to his character, because compared to what we saw from the classic RE3, Carlos was depicted to be a light-hearted character who went out of his way to save Jill countless times, and even tried to flirt with her. I have to ask you something. I know, you want to ask me out? All the foxy ladies love my accent, it drives them crazy. What? Keep dreaming. Anyways, going back to the trailer, was it just me or was he indicating that he wanted to go to the STARS member's office? Because with this new plot change, we may encounter him there at the RPD station, possibly assisting us to take down Nemesis. Anyways, in the later part of the trailer, we get to see some familiar glimpses of gameplay footage that can be compared to the classic Resident Evil 3, with one being the helicopter that Jill was supposed to use to escape Raccoon City, but instead would be destroyed by Nemesis. Especially with these examples here, where we can compare how the event ensued in the different Resident Evil iterations of the Clock Tower scene. But besides the helicopter scenes, there were some flashes of monsters and chaos happening during the trailer, which please let me know if this is a hunter or the drain demos on the comment section down below. Anyways, another important aspect that we've learned in this trailer is Jill looking at herself in the mirror, then suddenly her image changed into a zombified version of herself, which this part of the game could be after she was infected by Nemesis during her battle with him at the Clock Tower area. Stop. So Jill during this mirror scene could be her dreaming about it while being unconscious, possibly affecting her in a post-traumatic disorder kind of way, which another Resident Evil fan has stated that we may possibly play as her during the events of Resident Evil 1 and relive some moments of terror during that game and how that has affected her during Resident Evil 3. Anyways, with the final portion of this trailer, we get a small scene with the Umbrella Corporation and listening to their mission statement. Commitment, honesty, integrity, these are the core values that create the foundation for Umbrella Corp. Which is funny in how they try to keep the facade of being a reputable company while conducting their many illegal experiments using the T-Virus, which in the end would showcase their product in this trailer, with Nemesis being worked on the table and eventually being transported to Raccoon City. Anyways, in the end, the trailer for this game and the announcement of its release early next year is just amazing, and I am so happy to see this franchise Blossom and return us back to Raccoon City and fight Nemesis once again. Anyways, what do you guys think about this new trailer? And was there anything else you guys noticed that wasn't on this video? Please let me know in the comment section down below.
Also, if you guys enjoy the content, then please feel free to like and subscribe for more Resident Evil 3 Remake news and content in the future. Anyways, thank you guys so much, and as always, you guys have a great rest of your day, and this is Hey Deva, and I'll see you guys on the next video.